So one of the things that I've been thinking about, <clears throat> because it 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 was my constant mission to say, how can we how can we loosen this up, folks? How can we do it? You know, there's suitable housing contingencies. Can we talk about suitable housing with some timelines? They have got 15 days. You know, because the objection is, well, where do I go? I, I know I can take all this money, but where do I go? I don't have a second home. I don't have an investment property. I don't have in-laws. Where do I go? You know, is it a longer closing date? Is it, you know, the one day exclusive, but wh where do they go? Right. One of the things when I've been riding around lately on training for the pan mass is, you know, a, I'm seeing more signs. So that's a huge bonus, right? We're seeing the people who can make that move, who can, who have, alternate housing. But one of the things I was thinking about, which I, I, I'm dying to share with my community here is all these people, it's like they're putting these pre for sale signs out in their yard and they don't even know it, class of 2021, right? So maybe it's the senior in high school, maybe it's the senior in college, but I'm seeing them all over the place. And I'm like, how many of those signs are going to turn into for sale signs in the next 60 days because i've said it myself the house that i'm in we joke about it it's you know i love flipping houses i, I love the fact that we're seeing the investment market starting to fire up again um I, I i i love it for a couple of ways one we're going to be able to help a lot of people who are you know in a in a lot of pain right so the distress they you know they took the forbearance and they just have a ton of equity but they they can't really afford the house right so there's going to be a lot of that but also as an investor I'm, I'm excited to see all of these opportunities because i'm a living breathing uh dollar cost average i don't care where the market is you know if it's low i'm buying if it's middle i'm buying if it's high i'm buying because real estate is great you know and you can take a dip but long term it's going to be great but i've always said the house we were in it initially started as a flip you know, this was the perfect location, perfect everything, perfect opportunity. It was probate. I, I found it. I stayed on it for 12 months, calling the attorney, finally got it. And then we decided, oh my goodness, this is a wonderful home. We're going to move into it. But now it's the 10 year flip, right? So instead of the typical six months to a year flip, it's a 10 year flip. But I joke that, you know, when my youngest graduates high school, boom, in goes the sign. I wonder how many other people out there are thinking the same thing. This is why I, I love spending time with you. That's like thoughts on a whole nother level, but that is so true. I mean, I wish I could, I, I'm sure somewhere, maybe Remind or somebody has statistics on that, but uh, not even not even the youngest child in some cases. It, it may be one right. of the young children where it's like, okay, well now we're down to this. We have this many rooms. It's time for us to downsize. Right. So yeah, I mean, think about that as an agent. Like I'm, I'm riding around with you training and, and every one of those signs has, has got to be a little like. Congratulations on this wonderful occasion. You must be very proud. But with that, many things are changing. Did you know the value of your home is $777,000? What? Yeah, you combine those couple of wow. See, Boom. That's how things happen. Boom. Value bomb. Yeah. Right there.